to create this design you need to add a cube then go to the edit mode select this top and bottom face and use the insert operation on it then press shift ctrl alt and select this vertical edges in this way and then ctrl b add bevel on them add four segment bevel in this way then add one loop cut here and one loop cut at the bottom then select this face loop increase the selection and press p to make a separate object isolate this object then go to the edit mode select this edge loop and then right click breach edge loop then select everything inch and symmetry take the symmetry along the x axis then select the center edge loop and control d add bevel on it add one segment bevel then delete these faces then select this edge and press f to fill the gap then select these edges and control b add bevel on them add a four segment bevel in this way then take the symmetry along the y axis then delete this side then shift A, mesh and add a cube. Scale this cube along the C axis. Take it here. Then scale it along the Y axis. Then shift D to duplicate it and move it along the Z axis. Like this. Then select these three objects and shift Q. Use the boolean operation difference. Then apply the boolean modifier. And delete this cutter objects. Now we need to create right topology here. Then take the symmetry along the y axis and delete this one half of the model. Use the knife tool and create cut along the x axis. And then create cut along the z axis. Then select these faces. Deselect this face loop and use the insert operation. In this way. And then select this edge loop and control b add bevel on it add one segment bevel then select these edge loops and control b add bevel on them add two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then use the knife tool and create cut like this then here are some faces delete them and then dissolve these edges this way then select this face and this face and delete it select this edge loop and press f to fill the gap Select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then select these edge loops in this way and control B add bevel on them. Use the knife tool and create cut along the x axis. Then dissolve these edges and create cut along the z axis and add two loop cuts. Connect this verse, then use the knife tool and create cut and create cut here also. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the minus y axis and take the symmetry along the z axis. And then hit the control tool to add the sub-d modifier and shade smooth it. You will get this kind of design. Now isolate that first part. Then go to the edit mode, select this edge loops, then right click and breach edge loop. Then select this edge loops and control B, add bevel on them. Add one segment bevel. Then select this edge loops and control B, add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel. Then select this face, use the insert operation and delete this face. Take the symmetry along the z axis, x axis, and y axis. Then select this edge loop and then face grid fill. You will get this kind of topology. Add a few loop cuts here and then take the symmetry. Then select this object, go to the edit mode, select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x axis. Control 2 and add a sub modifier and shade smooth it. Go to the mac cap view and turn on the cavity. And now you can see you will get this kind of design. You can see the topology. You can see the form. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. So, next video, take care.